may have to change your entire game plan to deal with. And there's the first of many touches. No double team. And Edie gets the roll. A little high-low look. And it winds, up, it winds up being four round one. Matt Painter does a great job of isolating Zach Edie. You have to throw it away from the defense. Lawyer. And he buries a three. Fletcher Lawyer, the freshman. Canada's got a really good national team. Don't get me started. Okay. <laughs> to Sot with a floater and is fouled as well. You talk about a well-conceived offense. I don't think anybody's better. Good pass. Lawyer inside and first with a finish. First is left-handed. Purdue 3-0. They beat Milwaukee, Austin P, and then they had a really good test from Marquette their last time out. A game in which they trailed most of the night before winning it at the end by five. A bucket at the other end. You might have said, remember me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm that guy. Again, the isolation for Kaufman Wren. <laughs> the back of the iron first is there. You'll call for the ball screen. Nobody there. Hit a three. I love it when the when the teams hold up a, a whiteboard with the play on it, like you can look back while you're bringing the ball up. For it. <laughs> yeah, Morton screened Edie out to set that ball screen. Then Morton pops out, so you have options to go inside or throw it back. Pass through the fingertips of Edie. He was saying he was getting pushed in the back at the time. And again, don't let Stevenson get going. He can heat up in a hurry. He plays that drop coverage. You don't want to take him too far out and put him in a position to pick up a foul, but Stevenson can pull up. Gillis with a corner three. And he starts to heat up. Smith and Fletcher Lawyer. The two freshman starters. Over the top. Morton finds Edie. And Bob Huggins is not going to be happy with the pressure on the ball there. This is the three. Long shot, long rebound again. Boy, Toussaint being very aggressive tonight. Good cut by Stevenson. Oh, terrific. Actually, Joe Mazzula kind of taught it to him from John Beeline. Toussaint comes up with a steal. And Wilson knocks it down. And you talked about it being a big couple of minutes for the Boilermakers. Down to eight. And the Boilermakers with a chance to get the last shot of the first half. Gillis from deep oh. in the corner hits a three. Using Jimmy Bell Jr. to screen and then rescreen to try to free up Eric Stevenson. Couldn't get the shot up, but he finds Johnson who buries the three. But this has been a great program under Matt Painter. They've gone to the NCAA tournament seven consecutive years. They can all dribble and pass. Mitchell has gone to the bench now with his fourth. Edie with the left hand this time can't convert. And this is a real rarity for him. He's three for seven tonight. Usually converts at a much higher rate. But the Zags are going to celebrate on Saturday because they get a basketball game coming up in about an hour. And we'll have it for you here as they take on Park Portland State. Trey Kaufman Wren. You know, West Virginia has turned them over a few times. They've given up some free throws, but the Mountaineers have had some opportunities cut into this lead, haven't been able to do it. And now Kaufman ran with a block on a driving Matthews. Toussaint, step back jumper from the elbow. Oh! And the impressive follow by Stevenson. Well, he is a two way player. The ninth all time meeting between these two programs. He leading 7 to 1 last night in 2013. Stevenson again seeking out the contact. Good decision not to force it there. Knocked away. Was deflected into the backcourt. Shot clock at 5. Stevenson loses it again. Oh, what a nice job by Brandon Newman. And Stevenson is hurt. Stevenson is down behind the play. Trying to get up, but unable to really put any weight on his left leg. Jimmy Bell Jr. has come back into the game with three fouls as well now for West Virginia. Waddell with a baseline drive and a nice little shovel pass to finish. Toussaint elevates and knocks down another one. He's got a dozen. And then to only realize seven points off those turnovers, that's got to change. Waddy elevating easily and slamming it home.
loses it. And out ahead of the pack, two shots to lay it in. There is plenty of time left in this game. I mean, 10 points is not a big spread here. Make it 12. Waddell with a beautiful feed to Edie. Now they bring the double. He can just see over the top of that. Does a good job not bringing the ball down, too. Smith with the offensive rebound. What a pass. And Gillis with a finish and a foul. Waddell moving his feet, staying in front of Wilson. Now Toussaint got a switch. Gets it off. And it goes. Another soft rim shot here in Portland goes for Tucson. In this second half, but Purdue is 9 of 10 from the foul line. Adrian Johnson makes it a 7-point game. a little bit better. A nice finish by a Conquo. With great eyes to be able to see that. This one is short. Johnson. Yes! Well, how badly did West Virginia need that one? West Virginia right there on the catch putting really good pressure on the ball. And a big shot for the Boilermakers as Smith knocks it down. Sot in some trouble gets out of it. Johnson gets by Morton, but not Edie. Saved by Smith. And West Virginia has been unable to match those numbers, but still within striking distance. Edie, a little bit further on this one, but he'll get it to go, and he's got 22. I think you and I have talked about this before. That's a rule I think needs to change or, or lane violations. You would like to see possession rather than the yeah. extra free throw, right? That was a great take by Eric Stevenson there. Don't you find that when you have that that difference, boy, he can make any shot. Wow. I mean, Ethan Morton was right on him. And you could feel a little bit of air come out of it. You work that hard, get nothing, and then give up a layup. And you, just, you could feel it, couldn't you? The air came out of it. And they weren't able to convert on the other end. And yeah, they weren't able to score off those stops, so they turned it over. Edie again, 24. And that'll do it. Purdue is going to beat West Virginia 80-68, to led by 24 points and 12 rebounds from Zach Edie. And that will advance into a semifinal here at the Phil Knight Legacy in Portland.